people are interviewing you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here I'm, I'm, I'm with... Patrick. Patrick. I was, I was digging for a false name. So in that... Do it again. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay, don't worry. It's okay, Patrick's fine. There's millions of Patricks in the world. So this is your Amiga Seamaster Planet, Planet Ocean. Ocean. And uh, it's an interesting piece here. It's very, a very, very, very good seagoing watch. And uh, the interesting thing is, is that we've virtually got identical size wrists. So this is, this is space to fit me. It fits perfectly, perfectly. Look at that, it's perfect. Same size wrist. Look at that, wow. So um, tell me about this watch here. This here is, how old do you have it? How long you had it for? Uh, brother bought it for me a yes. year and a half ago. A year it's, and a um, half ago. Got 57 speedy hands on it. Yes, I um, love the hands. They're very, very, very um, gorgeous. It's the same watch used as the Bond watch, really. It's the Casino Royale watch. Casino Royale. Uh, this Casino Royale came on the NATO, didn't it? It had that, that special NATO. Do they give a bracelet uh, Spectre, with it Spectre, well? I think. Spectre, I think, was on the NATO. Ah, sorry, you're right. You're right. Because you know this watch here, this is the, when the movie where she goes, Rolex? No. Amiga. Amiga. That's right. You know. I'm surprised she wasn't disappointed and say, "Oh, oh, she didn't, she didn't know that." It was, it was a great line in the movie there. That's the but, Gerard Gentra uh, setup on it, integrated bracelet on it. Very tight bracelet too. It hasn't got the plate, hasn't got slop in that. Have a look at that. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it a Gerald Gentra design bracelet because yeah. it's the same as the Speedy. The Speedmaster uses similar sort of bracelet. To be confirmed. To be confirmed. Okay, there we go. Set the cat amongst the pigeons and this is using the coaxial movement it's a 2500c at least they mm -hmm. didn't do a's or b's in the planet oceans which no. were the best movements i see and how, how have you found it 600 uh, meters that watch goes diving it goes snorkeling yes i can uh, see by the scratches that's what it's there for it's a tool yes, watch it's, a tool, it's there to be used tool watch and um i gotta tell you what what i do like the, the thing that pisses me off with the planet ocean is the fact that they've released so many different variants. Like if they, they, they limited it a bit, you know, I think that would have been a better way to go. But I gotta tell you, this here, very, I love the six, nine and 12, like an Explorer, very much like, you know, you know the Railmaster? Remember the Amiga Railmasters? And uh, the hands, the hands are to die for, mm. beautiful. Beautiful hands there. High luminosity on that as well. And what's that? That's a 42 mil, isn't it? I think it's 45 and a half. That's what? an XL. 40, 45 and a half? It's an XL. Jesus. 45 and a half. Jesus, we'll just get the ruler out here. We'll have to confirm this. Okay. I think it depends how you measure it. I think it depends how you measure it there. It's uh, just hang on one tick. So tell me this, you've had this for two years, 18 months? About two, 18 months, two years. Do you love it or what? Love what do you it. Think? What do you think? I think every person should have a tool watch as their first watch. A tool watch, Not yes. a dress watch, tool watch, definitely. Tool watch. And how did you come to the Amiga? What made you go for the Amiga? What was the, the deciding factor? Oh, actually my brother bought it for me. Okay. It. It for me. okay. So at the moment, I was looking at getting a Tudor Pepsi. Yes. But a Tudor Pepsi. I'm not sure whether it's, to be honest, and probably getting a lot of feedback on it, whether it's a better watch. This is a 600 meter diver. Yes, 600 meters. Meter. Is that two, three hundred? Yes, that's exactly it there. That's exactly it there. There, um, the Tudor Black Bay is is 200 meters. It's not really a move forward then, is it? It's got a GMT hand on it. Well, well, actually, yeah. No, well, we're talking about the um. I think the Tudor, what's the, what's the dive rating on the Black Bay Heritage, that's their diver, they're about um, 200 metres, right, so the GMT may be less, they're normally 100 metres. So it'd be better off upgrading to a GMT Seamaster. But would you keep both, Have the, wouldn't you build the collection? Then you'd have two from Omega. Is that a problem? You've got a Speedmaster? No. Oh, you want to get a Speedmaster? If I was going to get a Speed, you'd have to be a 321. Oh, they're expensive, but... but they're nice. You're not going to lose your money on it. No, 
No, no, but they're, they're kind of dear, aren't they? You buy 90% of those watches, 95% of those watches out there, you'll lose your arse on. Yes, 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 indeed. So this is the Omega. You've been happy with it? Very happy with it. Recommend it to anyone. So out of 10, what would you give it? Nine. Nine. What, 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 what's the, what wouldn't you give it 10? What's the missing thing? If it had a crown instead of an Omega And a symbol, Rolex logo on it. That's exactly it. Yes. I think I like about that is you can take that bracelet off and put a NATO on it and it really changes the whole watch. You love putting on a NATO? Mm, on a NATO for summer or winter. NATO when you go Silly. diving. Otherwise these bracelets get crusty bits inside them if you take them out into the sea. Oh, okay. That's interesting talk there. Well, I, I gotta say, I, I um, <clears throat> the Planet Ocean, the only thing that I've disliked is that they've released too many of them. They release sort of new flavors. But I gotta tell you, this is kind of, it's a very sexy watch, isn't it? You know, they've gone for aluminum. Sorry, the ceramic is, is the, the thing that's now mm. on the new models. Yeah. But I don't know whether ceramic's a step forward because you wouldn't make it that thin if it was ceramic, would you? And that's also the Jeremy Clarkson watch as well from Top Gear. Wow, Jeremy Clarkson's got that one. He's got a few, hasn't he? Mm. He, he has had a few Breitlings, for example. I think he has. Did he have Breitlings? I think James uh, Richard Hammond's got Breitlings. I may probably oh. start paying him not to wear them soon. <laughs> well, I I got to tell you, I I think it's a, I think it's a superb watch. I think, I think realistically, for a, a serious diver, you can't really beat it, can you? What do you think? A serious, serious diver, <clears throat> and it's got that vintage look because of the hands on it. Mm. Very very beautiful. It's um, I, I got to say, you know, um. It, it's cool. It's a very cool watch. Very cool watch. I, I, I reckon it's sort of a 7 out of 10 for a diver. 7 out of 10? Yeah. How would you write the Breitling and the... Uh... Well, the, the Breitling's sort of a bit of a um, a pretender. It's only 200 metres. Mm. It's not really a dive watch then, is it? And the Tudor, you know, it, the Tudor... The Tudor's cool, but... I, I think this is kind of cooler, isn't it? You know, you know, you know what I mean. In, in, in the sense that it's it's just a cool thing to wear every day, isn't it? If you had a one, like it's got a date, like the the Tudor mm -hmm. Heritage doesn't have Tudor Black Bay Heritage doesn't have a date. It's yeah, they're a cool watch. They are cool, but I think that's a um, a very I, I like it. I like it. I like it. So. How much? Oh, you, it was a gift. It was yep. a gift. The money doesn't even come into it. It was just a gift. Let me ask you this. If you yes. take either of your divers into the water, yes. are you concerned about water ingress? Oh, well, you know, you've got you to make sure the seals are okay, but mm -hmm. I think you could take them in. Could so you? I'm, I'm never worried about that. Run straight in, no problem. No. Never, concern, never have a second thought about it. No, I kind of... Because um, I bought those virtually new... I probably wouldn't take him in water. Not really why we buy a diver, is it? <laughs> That's it. Lovely watch. Thank you. Can't take my eyes on me. My thoughts on me just grow and grow. Hey guys, my name is Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3. Guys, guys, I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. It's very hard running a YouTube channel relying on Google Ads alone. I'm in a special niche and I speak my mind and I've, I don't have all those Seiko wannabes, all the people who want assurance about their affordable shitters. So I've got to really try hard to bring in the revenue. Guys, if you like my content, if you think I'm a great, great chap to have around, why don't you help me out? 
there's a number of ways you can help me out. This will keep me full time on YouTube. Look in the description of this video for some ways you can help me. You could sponsor me on Patreon. That allows you to send a small monthly amount to me every month. It can be a dollar, it can be a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford. The next way you can help me is, well guys, I, I really need some money to keep things going. Paid reviews. On the Paul Pruder channel, I run paid reviews. For as little as 20 US dollars, I'll give you an opinion of your collection, of what you're looking at, I'll try and answer. There's heaps of other ways you can help me. I do telephone consultancy. For 50 US dollars, I will talk to you on Skype or WhatsApp and answer your horological or personal problems. Any questions, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now guys, please help us out. Look down below and if you, if you, if you could help us out, I will stay here and make videos full time on YouTube.